All right, boys, today you are gonna learn how to build an electric go-kart. A lot of you have been asking since I built this one. So me and Zay have spent all week and we built another one and I filmed the entire process for you to watch and learn. So you decided you wanna go with the electric cart and ditch the gas. Sir, today, yes, sir. You're gonna learn how. So to make your cart like this, here's what you're gonna need. You need a controller. This is a BAC 8000. You can run a BAC 4000 if you want. I'll link them below. Or the cheaper alternative, which I'm running, is the far driver. The next thing you're going to need is a motor. So we're using the Suron Light B motor. Um, you can also use a QS motor as well, which is like a chain drive conversion. But we're running the Suron motor because we have them, and we're running a chain drive conversion on it to get rid of the belt. So you're gonna need a 420 chain. You're gonna need the Suron battery leads to go on your battery. You're gonna need a battery of some sort. This is the cheapest option right here, a Suron Segway. So you can run that cheap battery over there, which will work, or you can upgrade and get something like this Chai battery right here. So this is a 72 volt battery, stock Suron 60 volt, or the budget one is a 48 volt battery. So that just depends on how fast you wanna go. This battery you can probably find for like 400, 500 bucks. That battery over there is like $2,500. Code Zay on Chai battery. <laughs> Jose, Chai battery. They don't sponsor me, so comment below. They need to sponsor Matt. <laughs> yeah. You're also going to need this sprocket conversion to make your go kart a 420 link chain. Unless you bought a shifter cart and it'll already have this. You bought one like Zay's and it's got that little baby motor on there. You're gonna a, need this. I'll call it a baby, dude. It's a baby. I think it's trash. <laughs> You're gonna need a chassis of some sort. You can either get some cheap chassis that's like not a race car, or you can spend a little bit more money and get a race style platform, which I recommend. Uh, mine's off a shifter cart, so it's like a full chromoly shifter cart chassis. Long intro, but that's what you guys are here for. So we'll get into it. I am. All right, so we got the motor off, and what holds these motors in are these little chingadarises. They pop right in like that on the bottom side. So we're just gonna add a piece of metal there, make them out for the Suron motor, and uh, weld a couple brackets, bolt it right up. All right, shout out to Rocky Mountain using their Tusk First Line Contact Cleaner. Code Moto Matter, link below. So this is some metal I had laying around. The motor mounts can slide any way you want, forward and back. So I'm gonna line this thing up like this, get the Suron motor on there, cut this down. So the Suron has four bolt points right here. And this piece of metal I have is easily wide enough to cover all that. So all I'm gonna do, take an eyeball measurement here, how long I want this, mark it out. And now I'm gonna take it to my chop saw, cut this thing down. Low key, that was like hella professional. <laughs> dude, the fact this guy I knows what he's doing, dude. I do, man. <laughs> Pop her on there, kind of get a good look at her. And, uh,. What's cool about this setup is these are, they can go in and out really easy. So I'm just gonna drill two holes in this, ladder up, bolt her up into here, little nuts on there, you're, you're done. Ready Boom. Roll. Oh. oh, careful bro, that ends are sharp as frick. Thread. Is she threading? I think so. Yep. Oh yeah, there she goes. Right, so here's the bottom mount and you can slide it forward and back. That's how you're gonna get your chain adjustment. A lot of you guys are asking that. Yep. Here she goes, oh, bro. Dude, we got the whole axle out. Yeah. I think we gotta take off all of this. Bro. To get that off. 
So we're taking off everything on the axle because we need to move we need to move the sprocket to the outer. So basically to do that, I gotta take off everything, which kind of sucks. So we've tore apart the entire axle. We know we're gonna go swap the sprocket, and we just found out that unfortunately we have the wrong sprocket. So this is an inch and a quarter, and this is a little bit bigger. I wanna say it's like a two inch or something. But uh, because of that, this is not gonna just bolt right on like how it should. So I'm gonna try to tear this thing apart, mount it to this sprocket, just so we can get this thing going until we get another sprocket on the way. Pure, not recommended, but. Definitely do not recommend this. <laughs> Ow! Ooh! Let me see. Dude, I'm almost bleeding. Man hands right there. Yeah. Maybe wear gloves or something, dude. Yeah, maybe, huh? That is definitely not aligned. Got the gold chain out. Put it on your neck, dude. No, no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> so this thing's gonna be way too long. We're gonna trim up this chain a little bit and then figure out where we're gonna mount the motor, either forward, back, or up. So, almost there. All right, guys, it's actually day two. Start on the cart, sneak peek. Forgot to say, you definitely need this. It's a Suron cable throttle adapter. This is like what the OG Suron came on. Uh, best of luck finding one. These are hard to find. But you need it. You definitely need this. Got the solid piece of steel right here. We got them marked out two and a quarter inches. We're gonna make four little plates for the motor to sit on. I'm gonna cut them on the top saw. We got the four brackets right here, vice them together. I'm just gonna drill one hole instead of drilling four holes. All right guys, so with the light beam motor, it actually needs to be tilted diagonally. So we're running two long brackets and two small brackets to get the right angle. The black paint. Should look good. Be satisfying. Brackets painted. Got the motor in there. We're tightening her up. She's still gonna have full adjustment from the bottom. She's looking clean. It is five hours later. We have the seat installed, the motor installed, touched up some stuff, add a little paint. Next step is adding the uh, BAC 8000 for this build. Battery, and then uh, hook up the throttle. She's ready to rip. Moving on to the battery tray. Taking this thing down to bare metal. Got a little piece of flat steel. Kind of weld her up right here. Battery's gonna sit on right here. It's gonna push up against these. And yep. then we're gonna put straps around it. Straps, it'll be solid. See, dude, let's inspect the welds. This side's pretty good. That side could be improved. All right, all right. Definitely could be improved, but hey, it'll do. Yeah. Boom. Six dollar straps. Does Did it come with two? 
That came with one. All right, so we've got the straps around it right here. Just tuck the extra flap. And then it seems like it's holding it pretty good, so. Fingers crossed. It's what not to do, but it's working. <laughs> Kind of the only uh option we got here we got the motor hooked up to the bac 8000 we have our suron wiring here plugged in most of this isn't even gonna get used but uh we're just gonna move forward get this thing bolted up bunch of zip ties it's gonna look pretty clean everything is connected zay does not have a breaker so i have to plug this thing in raw dog breakers on the way so it's gonna spark Oh, you want to put gloves on? Yeah, yeah put some gloves on, dude. Gloves on. Like... Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. That actually wasn't even bad, dude. Not even scary. I wasn't scared. All right. All right, so the BAC, it's getting power, but it's not outputting any power. So I think the 8,000 is bricked, which is actually a major bummer. But... <laughs> That is a fat bummer, dude. Like, I thought that thing was fresh. And then we come over here. Matt has this extra far drive <laughs> controller from China or wherever. Yeah. What is it from China these days, it's honestly? In, it's from China, yeah. So, this is what Matt has on his. He has a far driver. So, yeah. it's it works get, good. It's going to be the exact same setup. Literally, we're going to have the exact same setup now. Identical. But right now, we're just going to see if this thing has power and then on to day three because yeah. it is dark outside. Day three. <laughs> Power driver hooked up. Have our kill switch connected to the app. We're about to learn, so the motor's gonna spin. Super sketchy when you're doing this. Make sure everything's free flowing, and uh, be ready for impact. Something could fly off. So we're going through the settings right now, and uh, we're actually adding in the regen to 30%. We might need to turn it down to 18, but we're gonna try this. And uh, going to the top, if you have this. If you did the auto learn where you hold it wide open and it learns it, whatever, everything should be preset, but we're going to change the rated power to 5,000 Watts, max speed, 12,000 RPM, max line current, 350 amp, max phase current, 530 amp, boost phase current, 530, and then boost line current, 350. And that's a, a pretty good default setting. And you could always turn it up from there. We've got a wing. Has to have a wing. Looks a million times better with the wing. So we got a wing and we got to kind of figure out where it's going to go on mine. So we're thinking we got the brackets all painted up purple by yours truly. If you look closely, it looks like trash. That wing is going on. Got a different steering wheel here. We got that Alcantara, Alcantara, however you say it. It's looking all fresh, better than that beat wheel. We got Alcantara, Alcantara. All right, boys, the build is complete. Come take a look. Set, well, it's like 100% yet, not 100%. not 100%. We still need a different bracket for the uh, steering wheel, but uh, everything is basically done. Uh, at this point, it's gonna be cosmetic stuff. We got the motor mounted, the battery mounted, got the BAC mounted, uh, threw the wing on there for the downforce, rewrapped the seat, put a new steering wheel, painted everything. So stay tuned. If you are not already, subscribe to Zay's, Zay Solis. This is his cart. We're both gonna be ripping them in the future. So uh, stay tuned. Next video is gonna be us ripping these things.